What's up, YouTube? We're gonna yo yo review to do today. This is the One Drop Downbeat 2020. So, Downbeat 2020. Uh, the Downbeat 2020 is a redesigned Downbeat. Now, for those of you who don't know, the One Drop Downbeat came out many moons ago. Uh, it was kind of a, a beefy, thick boy. It was a bit heavy. It was one heavy sucker. Um, played heavy, played slow, hence the down beat. It was supposed to be a chill, slow, cool yo-yo for, you know, slower, more chill play. Um, moving on through time, though, uh, no, no, not my favorite one drop, to be honest. I actually don't even own a down beat, an original one. Um, didn't really love it that much. Didn't ever want to seek one out and get one. Had, uh, I played Kai's a couple of times, but just didn't, didn't, uh, wasn't my thing. However, the brand new Downbeat 2020, definitely my thing. Let's go ahead and talk about the specs on this bad boy. The base weight is 62.8 grams, but with the ultralight side effect in it, uh, it comes in, uh, at, uh, 65.3 grams with the aluminum ultralights. Um, the width is 45.42 millimeters. The diameter is 56.77 millimeters. Comes with flow groove response and a flat uh, one drop 10 ball bearing. Um, it's 6061 aluminum with a pyramid finish and side effects. Uh, looks pretty close to the original. I don't have an original, like I said, to kind of compare. Looks pretty close to the original, truth be told. Um, and But plays nothing like it. In fact, I would say it's almost quick. It's nimble. Uh, very floaty just great. I've really, I've really, really been liking this. It's been a like pick up and just go kind of yo-yo. Uh, really, really enjoy it. It's got some pretty decent rim weight. So it's got some pretty good stability and spin time as well. Uh, more than you would think just by looking at it and really just plays wonderfully. Uh, that's, that shouldn't be shocking to anybody about a one drop yo-yo. doesn't have that one drop mid step though, that like it usually does. Like it's actually got just like regular, rim weight not a ton of rim weight so it's not like you know super powerful in the rims but it's got enough that it's stable it's chill it's floaty it's kind of light and fun uh if you throw it hard you go flat fast too i don't know that it's got the longest spin times ever or that it's a competition spec type of yo-yo but uh it's fun and definitely one you should pick up but let's go ahead and throw this bad boy around a little bit i'll show you what i'm talking about one drop downbeat 2020 so uh, first thing you'll notice, especially if you've thrown the old downbeat, is that this just plays light. Like, it's not a heavy playing yo-yo at all. Quick and nimble on the string. Response is real nice. The one drop flow groove, probably my favorite pads. They're just so good. Like, for just pads that are stick in, can't beat them. Very controllable. And a little bit of speed. Doesn't lose the plane. Really just kind of a nice floaty. It's a great organic. It just really is a great organic. Rejections are smooth and very nice. really just comes off the string really really well grinds very nice pyramid finish is good but it also has sort of uh, little ridges to kind of also reduce the uh skin to yo-yo friction which is great uh, you can catch thumb grinds it's just kind of flat there so you can get that under your thumb walk some sticky it's very humid here in Pittsburgh there we go you can get that under your thumb like I said response is great uh, as far as finger spins are concerned you could do them this is one drop doesn't really do finger spin yo-yos there's space there to do it uh, not gonna be the best but uh, 
Yeah. That was kind of tough. Second time's a charm, right? There we go. Flat bearing makes it a little tough, as well as this not really being designed for it, but it's doable. It's not undoable. Really just comes off the string nice and that's really kind of what you want in a organic just something that feels smooth coming off the string regens are exquisite just really nice really nice regens really nice everything it's just a really nice fun playing organic and uh, if you like one drop you're probably gonna like this yo-yo a lot I know I like one drop but even if not, if you're just looking for like a pretty awesome organic, this is exactly that. But, uh, let's go ahead. We'll take this bad boy apart and I'll show you guys the insides and we'll do pros and cons. All right, so one drop, downbeat 2020. Uh, just to compare it size wise, here it is next to the Showgirl. So it's a little bigger than the Showgirl. It's actually kind of a lot bigger. Here it is next to the Silhouette, bigger than the Silhouette. It's kind of a larger organic. Honestly, it's it's full size, full size. Here it is next to the uh, dunk. It's even got a bigger diameter than the dunk, but not quite as wide. Actually, almost. So pretty full size yo-yo. Uh, even a touch, maybe a touch on the large side, considering how organics usually go. Um, let's go ahead and take it apart. So, one drop 10 ball bearing, it's very nice. Always my, always a go-to. I don't think I ever really change them um, out of one drops. Here we go. Nicely rounded over all the way up to the response. It flattens just before the response. There's no step or anything. So it's kind of tough. You saw, even when I was trying to do a finger spin, uh, sort of tough to keep it off the pad. Not really meant for horizontal play at all. Uh, but really just beautifully machined all the way around. I like these ridges very much. Uh, I think they're aesthetically pleasing in the way they catch the light. And they're just also kind of useful and they feel good for grinds. So uh, sort of a double use on them there. As you can see, side effect. It's got you know a little bit of cuts in there. Mostly for aesthetics, but I'm sure it has something to do with the weight distribution as well. Uh, to pop out side effects, put in whatever you want. I'm a big fan of side effects. I, I like changing the way yo-yos play sometimes, especially if I've had the yo-yo for a while. I enjoy that. Uh, the ultralights in this feel really nice, but I might change it to spikes or something. See, this one has spikes. May flip these around at some point. Just to, just for something a little different, you know? A little bit different is always great. Um, obviously came apart nice. Goes back together really nice, as side effects always do. Come on. Ah, not pushed all the way in there. Good job, Thomas. Oh, this is going terribly. Why don't you get your side effects back in there. Let's go together. Real nice. You want to crank down on the side effects a little bit. That's how you keep the area smooth. This thing is dead smooth. One drop smooth, if you will. Um, super smooth. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Uh, let's talk about the pros and cons. Pros. Uh, starts at 59 bucks for solid colors. Uh, for a side effect yo-yo made machined in America, designed in America, made by the great wonderful amazing people over at one drop uh that's that's a steal uh this plays amazing just like all one drops do and uh if you dig organic nice light organic shapes they're like a little bigger like it's not that small of an organic this is going to be up your alley it's really cool uh it doesn't do that uh one drop mid step uh kind of like mid rim weight that mid weight type of thing 
than a lot of one drops do. So it really plays more like kind of a traditional, just sort of organic. Really nice, really light. Um, much different than the original downbeat. If you want to compare and contrast them, uh, I think this is miles better, in my opinion. Uh, comes with some comes in some great colorways too. There's like a brown and gold splash that just looks amazing. Same thing with the black, blue, and purple. Really, really some good colors uh, they did on this. I've had this one for a little while. I probably should have done the review a little bit earlier, but it's just been hectic here. <laughs> it really just has. Uh, but finally getting back into these, getting some yo-yos reviewed, which is always a fun thing to do. But I really like this. I've been, it, it believe me, it's not like it's a chore to play awesome one-drop yo-yos uh, and comprise my own thoughts about them for a while. Uh, cons, I mean, not really any. It's not a very competition-y yo-yo, but you don't really go into a yo-yo like this thinking that uh, it's not really going to do finger spins or anything crazy like that. But if you just want kind of a, Chill yo-yo, just a great everyday carry to just kind of pull out and throw around. For the price, for the shape, for the design, I'm, I don't think it gets much better than this, to be complete, completely honest with you. Uh, I've really enjoyed this a lot. I feel like it's got a lot of mojo. Um, I'd put it up there against, you know, a lot of other nice organics, like uh, like a lot of the stuff that like the ART guys do and stuff like that, like a Grail or something like that. Similar size, shape kind of floatiness to it. Uh, and of course, Machine by One Drop, who also machines the Grail and all that ART stuff. So uh, really just kind of cool in that category of just like chill, fun yo-yos. And uh, I really dig this one a really lot. I've really been having a lot of fun with it. And uh, check the links down in the description. They are available now. I think it play everywhere that wonderful yo-yos are sold. Um, but the One Drop link is down in the description. So go check them out. Pick one up. You're going to dig it. I promise. Uh, Thanks for watching, though, guys. Thanks for uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you, and I will see you next time.